back to Maple Farm. It has been a long, long day, but let's uh, get some commentary done for this video. First thing we're going to do is sort out the uh, the salary for workers. So I am going with two workers at five thousand pounds a month. Um, I am using the daily deductions mod. I think it is, um, and each of these oil cans will deduct one thousand pounds per month it says daily but it's monthly so we're going to stick 10 down that will give us our two workers at five thousand pounds a month um it's more than some have suggested but i think it's fair based on what we're capable of earning so that is all 10 um i have loki's mod in that reduces the worker wages to zero and i have course play wages set to zero we are in field three and we are going to grab a cultivating contract uh, so using store deliveries to get the stuff delivered. Ooh. Um, and this is one of the setups in my kind of retro contracting um, addition to better contracts. I will release this at some point, but things are manic at the moment. And it's probably going to be a couple of weeks before I get around to that. So just messing, sorting out course space so it doesn't repair. And it doesn't really worry about refueling. And we're just going to stick this guy on course play. Um, and then we're going to grab another contract. But I'm just showing it more in this video because it's new. I will probably, unless we need the workers on the farm, because we're going to be limited to two workers. So if we need a worker on the farm, we're going to need to have one of these available. If not, I'm probably going to keep these as busy as possible to keep money coming in. We've got to fund their wages every month, including through the winter months when there are going to be less or no contracts about um so yeah they're going to be kept busy it's also a way for us to bring money in we're on hard mode so we're making less from everything else we actually make a bit less from contracts as well um and it's just a way for us to keep the series moving giving us yeah we have a lot of kit we don't own at the moment so it's just going to give us the option to purchase the kit that we need to progress the farm um so we'll just get this guy going and then we will jump over to the next contract. So we're going to do some fertilizing as some fertilizing as well. I do really like this Traction King. Um, for the fertilizing contracts, we have the Massey Ferguson self-propelled sprayer. Um, I have a bit of a dumb moment here. When I had hair, it was blonde. Um, yeah, I can't work out how to set course play up. What I needed to do was scroll up. Um, yeah. Yeah, I had a complete brain lock. I, I looked at it and I thought, that looks like grapes. Why does this think it's grapes? And it wasn't grapes. It was just me being slow. Um, so for this one, I ended up doing a headland and then putting it on a base game worker. Again, they're free, so it works. But yeah, I was just having a complete dumb moment um you can't call me dumb in the comments because youtube will block that but yeah i was just being dumb this spray is really nice uh, obviously when when we can eventually afford a sprayer um or maybe not this one because i think it's got a damage boom uh, when we can eventually afford a sprayer i would like to get this obviously it wouldn't have sea and spray and all the clever stuff that you get with precision farming doesn't have it built in so we'll be going old school on that but i would like to get a sprayer because there are going to be times when we aren't plowing the fields so we will get weeds and you know we've got the option of mechanical or chemical and i'll probably alternate between them i can't actually remember how just missed that one how precision farming treats the other options um you would think that mechanical would be better for the environment but I think it's treated i think it's mechanical full herbicide sea and spray herbicide i am just going to accept as i said that we are not going to get a perfect environmental score with precision farming we are doing imprecise farming it's you know not the age where you you don't have gps so therefore you don't have the rtk accuracy of gps to do precision farming so we can't we do imprecise farming um, I, I suggested the idea before and it seems to have got a bit of support of 
probably, and it would mean it's going to be a long series rather than the short series I had planned, but probably every few years we will advance maybe a decade. So we're 80s, 90s now. Maybe we would go 90s or 90s, early 2000s after a couple of years. And that would just open up access to newer technology and stuff as things progress. Um, the main purpose of today's video, as you will have seen from the thumbnail, is to get our brass field mode. We need to make some silage. Um, so yeah, we are going to, <laughs> we're still getting the uh, random achievement unlocks that I got a long time ago on my main copy of Farm Sim. Uh, so we're going to lease a mower. I'm going for the K branded rear mounted mower. Um, this particular model is newer, but there are limited mods available. The style of mower is appropriate. So yeah, leasing that for 900 pounds, pretty good deal. Um, obviously we are kind of short of cash with that. I didn't mention to do the fertilizer contract. We had to buy an IBC fertilizer so yeah there was that cost outlay um the fertilizing contract there are two options in the setup that i have there's the the massey self-propelled sprayer and there's a new holland with a three point mounted solid fertilizer sprayer so i'm trying to test as many of the setups as i can in my gameplay so that when i do get round to releasing that file uh, so that's that contract done i'm gonna there's another fertilizing contract then I'm going to take this over to and use it on. Slightly cheaty, but it's full of fertilizer, you know. I'm going to go with it. There was this whole debate on Mr. CP's Griffin Indiana video as to whether you're leasing the kit from the store or the farmer. I'm just going to play the game. Uh, you know, the game lets me do it. I'm going to do it. I'm also going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members that are scrolling by right now. If you're supporting the channel with either of those, there are links below. Uh, channel members, you get a shout out, like you're seeing now. Uh, you are used in the workers and the NPC farmers, and you get the um, channel support role on Discord for the channel on there. Uh, Patreon, you get all of those, and you get input into the creative side sometimes, and you get an exclusive Let's Play series, which I have just restarted last week. Um, it's on Furling, it's, you know, old Fords, kind of cool. Um, yeah, a video a week at the moment, the more patrons there are, the more videos I will think about doing, so yeah. All of that is, of course, completely optional. There's merch as well. Very rarely mentioned that. Anyway, back to playing some gameplay, so yeah. I'm gonna get a couple of headlands stuck in decent sized mower i do know that this fiat runs the front mower as well if we put a three point on it the problem is we can't have a front loader mount and a three point so yeah there is that just finishing up this last contract there is some fertilizer left so we're going to get some money back but made i think about six grand there which is not too bad this is the fertilizer setup i took it i still had the delivery point at the farm and we somehow lost the foot spreader. So I'm gonna have to cancel that. Uh, slightly annoying. There are no other contracts with that set up. There are a lot of bailing and harvesting contracts. I don't want to do those at the moment. I want to test more of the new setups. So we're gonna go for a seeding contract. Uh, we're gonna do some canola seeding, I think it is, or some oat seeding. Um, up at field 66, it's uh, canola. Um, so we've got a, a John Deere 4440 and the John Deere seeder that I'm using. Really, I really like this setup. Um, so what I was just going to say is because of the issue with the front loader and the not being able to have a three point, we need more tractors. Um, we need, so just buying some seed, we need more tractors that are about the size of the bit. We need, we can get a front loader for the Ursus, I think. Um, there's uh, the Deutz 06 that's on Mod Hub, which I've added in, which has a front loader. Right, the small tractors have got covered. Um, thinking about getting a Traction King eventually for a big fieldwork tractor, but the point I'm trying to get to eventually is if we can get another tractor with a front loader, we can take the front loader off the bit and we can put a three point on it and we can run a front mower. 
God, that was a long way to get to that story. So this is I've seen the same thing as the Massey sprayer here. And then I realize that I can scroll up. Oh, that was a moment. Yeah. I make tutorials on this stuff, you know? Anyway, we are going to get course play running on this job. Um, again, yes. Yeah, Partly, we need to keep these workers busy. We're paying them. They need to be out earning money for us. Once we can get our own kit, they're going to earn even more, which will be even better. You know, so I think, like I said, long term, I would like to have a traction king with a big plow and a decent cultivator. Um, maybe a bigger cedar. I don't know. I kind of like this cedar. It's, uh, it's a bit tricky to get down the roads, but it'll work. I don't know if there are any bigger old cedars about. So we'll have to have a look. Um... We need a good hay and silage setup because we're running a cow farm. I'm going to be adding maize plus to this, so we're going to be needing a lot of hay and silage anyway. Uh, and generally, I just like to have a solid setup. So one of the other suggestions, along with the going through the years, is we try and grow the farm and you know you evolve the farm as time goes on. And you know, so we'll be looking at buying more or bigger fields and maybe. Some of the fields that we own now will turn into yard space as the yard grows. There are some really nice yards on Maypole, but there are also a lot of really nice sheds and I could have a go at building my own, you know. And we can take hedges out, so, you know, we could grow into the field that's next to the yard that's to our right now. I can't remember what number it is. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really considering keeping this as a long-standing series. I had a thing when um, when I started playing FS22, and I started it with the survival series, I mean, it kind of got parked because, you know, meh, it was fun at the time, but it kind of got a bit repetitive. But what I'm thinking is maybe this could be the series that runs a long time when we just slowly go through, you know, different years of farming kit, and we grow the farm. I pulled a nice big map. Um, if we get to the point where we've done as much as we can on maypole we can move it to another map um, so you know just keep evolving stuff we'll keep some of the old kit as we go you know do a bit of an ollie vlogs tractor shed um, we'll sell some of it as we don't need it and just yeah i really think that's going to be a cool idea um but it's a combination of suggestions from people in the comments on the last video and i just really like it as an idea um yeah so probably going to go with that um there is going to be a new series starting on attingham soon it's not going to run for very long um and when i say soon i'm not sure when soon um it's going to be so this time i'm going to be adding maze plus into this when maze plus is released um more info on that on thursday in the stream with the alien pool In that stream on Thursday, we're gonna, you know, give more information about release. But at some point, it's gonna be released, and I'm gonna have a series on Attingham, really focused around Maze Plus and the features of Maze Plus. Um, when I add it into here, it's gonna be limited by, you know, we're farming with older kit, we're money limited, so I'm gonna be limited on what I can show you. The Attingham set series, I have a big farm set up on there. I'm not gonna have a limit on money. We're just going to play farm soon and I'm going to show you different features of Maze Plus and how I like to use them. So yeah, that is coming at some point in the future. Uh, and I need to re-listen to that to make sure there were no spoilers in it. Um, but just cracking on with the mowing now, I have uh, split the field up and just trying to not drive in the grass. We haven't mown yet basically. So, not often that I use a mower like this, it was it's actually pretty good. Um, uh, I I am notorious for jumping straight to a big butterfly mower setup. You know, 10 meters. Probably the Kubota one or the Cavernum one, the Windrows. Um, you know, they keep doing silage. It's like, cut a step out. Much quicker. You know, we give them, we'd have been done with this field a long time ago. But not what we've got on here. Um, as we evolve, we might end up with that. But for now, we don't. Um, we don't own any mowers, we just have this. Maybe next time we'll have two mowers. Um, yeah, I, I am. Part of me wants to split this field in half in the spring. 
and do some maze. Part of me knows we need a lot of grass. And yeah, I'm kind of torn. Um, next video, we're going to be plowing the two root crop fields and thinking about planting in those. Probably two straw crops. Um, I could add, I can't add straw to corn because I'm going to silage it, so it wouldn't matter anyway. Um, I am going to add soybean straw, I think, on here with the video that I did on adding straw to any crop. Um, we are pretty much done with the mowing, so the next job is going to be to get this wind road and bailed. I am going to make use of one of our workers here. Um, so I'm going to get one of the workers back and we're going to stick them in the Ursus on a wind rower. Um, we can actually make use of both tractors and make it a bit quicker. Um, and then I'll run behind them bailing. Uh, seems like the way to get the job done. I'm just going to get this little tiny strip that I missed. And that is us done with mowing. Looks like a pretty decent yield. Um, yeah, so I think the next job is to redeem some contracts. We have quite a few there. That's about 10, about 17 grand. So we can make a decent amount of money off of the workers, keeping them busy. So I think five grand a month for each one is sensible. What I forgot to mention is we have already switched to three day months. When I reloaded the game, pretty sure the last video was in October. It had kicked in on three day months. So, you know, we're running on times three, um, but it means that our wage is split across three days. So yeah, we've got more time to do contracts. We've got the same amount of time because I went from playing on times one to times three, but you know, bear with me. It's uh, been, I say it's been a long day. I have, uh, we're just going to lease the wind rower. I'm going to go for this old Rotzel mash. Um, it was between that and the K branded one. This one's dirt cheap at the moment. No brainer. Um, works really well. I'm using it on the, uh, series on furling which is the patreon series and it works really well so yeah uh then thinking about bale wrappers and i actually went away and did a quick google and i think we are too early for square bales so i was pondering do we lease the round baler and in the end yes um i think i'm still pondering because we've got a square baler so i did go away and do another google and i think you know when we move forwards next you know in a couple of years time we can go square bale but for now i think we've got to go round bales for silage um i know there are some old round bale silage wrappers available as mods i'm trying to keep the number of mods down whilst i'm on my old laptop um, when the new laptop comes back which is probably three weeks away maybe um i don't have to worry about adding mods in then I'll put in the script mods that I normally run that aren't running, like the Simple Inspector um, that I would normally have running. Um, probably one of the Contracts Progress mods so that I can keep an eye on the contracts as they're running. Um, but at the moment, I'm keeping the number of mods down, particularly script mods. Um, you know, this is a... Four year... Sweet. Pretty sure it's four years old. It's three to four years old. It's a, an 8000 series i7 processor. Um, and yeah, it's, it's maxed out. The graphics card is a 1060 QMAX, so a laptop one. It's maxed out um, constantly. Um, the CPU is maybe not actually, but the graphics card is maxed out constantly when I'm recording videos. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it, it's holding up, and that's the main thing. It's holding up. Um, I just need it to last a few more weeks, and we'll be good. Um, it's about to spend the entire night rendering videos. I think if I can get this one finished, and it's debatable because it's been a really long day. Um, it's Monday. It's the day that I've been in the office, so I left home at just after 5 a.m. Um, it's now quarter past nine, which is not that late for a lot of you, but say I've been on the go since 5 a.m. Did a full day at work, um, went for a run after work, and then I'm in a hotel tonight. I have recorded five tutorials back to back um not particularly long but a bit of brain power used getting those done recorded and edited them uh this morning when i got to work before i started work because i got in early because i leave home really early to avoid traffic so i have a bit of time in the morning i sometimes go to the gym before work 
this morning I sat and edited this video so that I could do the commentary tonight. But it's quarter past nine now. Um, I have 20 minutes of video left to talk over because it's another long one. And then I need to edit it. And then if I can get that done, I can set all six videos to render overnight. It's going to be a pain because it means the laptop's going to be howling all night. Um, and in the morning, I'll have a load of videos to upload. And it means this video can go out on Wednesday, which is what I'm planning at the moment. Um, and then I think there'll probably be a video on Friday. Um, and maybe Saturday. Yes, I'm quite busy getting stuff done at the moment. So yeah, I think probably the plan is this week we've had two videos today on Monday and um, so I did the uh, free store deliveries tutorial and then really shocked that the network distributor passed testing the first time uh, it was sat testing complete all weekend um, and then I got the email at lunchtime today to say past testing um, so I kicked out the video that I'd had waiting on that for a week two videos today actually they're both doing quite well kind of nice um the bga network distributor is not it's doing okay i'm really funny about this sort of stuff um, it's the lowest currently the lowest rated of my mods on mod. as long as it stays above four stars I'm happy um doing quite well on downloads um as some discord i don't think mr cdp understood it i'm not sure dj did either he did a very light touch on it um Hopefully my video covers it well enough. Um, it, it's basically the generators from the modular BGA before they updated the modular BGA and stopped them working with everyone else's BGAs. Um, so yeah, if you're not sure how it works, ask me below this video or on that video. You probably know how it works if you're watching my videos. But anyway, um, yeah, but yeah, yesterday, yesterday, Today, today there were two videos. Um, they, this will render overnight, and then I'll release it on Wednesday. I've got Friday's video recorded. I need to edit it and do the commentary and stuff. No worries. And then there'll be a video on Saturday as well. I think um, probably another video on here because I don't have a tutorial lined up at the moment. So we could well be uh, seeding on here. Or skipping through. I don't know whether to see do winter seeding, so I could get a crop in end of all, end of October, or wait until the spring. But yeah, not sure on that one. Uh, and then yeah, we'll probably be all of our fields will be done. I'm waiting for the cows to produce more manure to fertilise this field, so we'll uh, probably be skipping through most of winter with a bit of contracting where it's available. And we might resort to some root harvest, root crop harvesting contracts. Probably won't show those because root crop harvesting is not people's favourite thing. So yeah. Um, but I do need to test those setups, so we'll probably do that in the background. Um, I have overrun on the baler. One of the things I hate about round balers and why I wanted to do a square baler is I always do this. I was a bit better at this. I didn't have sound on it, I don't think. And I was just trying to pay attention to when it was full or not. So yeah, I did a little bit better than normal on here, but in this case, no, I overran. The, uh, the little Ursus does a cracking job with the wind rower. Um, I do end up sticking it on the bale wrapper as well. Courseplay is a bit sketchy with bale wrapping these days. Um, so I think I'm using the latest version of the GitHub. And I remember when I was using it on Calmstone, I had issues, and I went back a few versions. And I'm not sure what version I have now and what version I had then that worked. Um, but it does seem to struggle just a bit. Um, but, you know, it, it helps if, if it can do half of it. It's, that can then jump in and do the other half. Um, we do have one worker still going on contracts. I think it's doing ploughing contracts. Um, there are a lot of ploughing contracts. It's kind of weird, actually. Um, there are a lot of planning contracts on fields that have crops that are in the ready to harvest state. I don't know if that's a first year thing or where I'm swapping versions of the map a lot. Um, but as soon as I enable the contract, the crop withers, all the fields cleared, 
and we uh, we plow it in. Um, I kind of view it as we're getting the map reset, sort of, and I suspect as we progress there'll be a bunch more seeding and planting contracts in the spring. There'll be a lot of fertilising contracts, but yeah. And there are endless bailing contracts, but um, we could benefit from them because we do need a lot more bales, but they're quite time consuming with this setup. So these older setups, you know, manually bale wrapping. Um, and we could do a lot more hay contracts. They're not so bad. Um, apart from loading the bales to get them sold and to get them home. Yeah, we're doing manual bale stacking at the moment, and it is, uh, it takes a while. You know, we get a decent number of bales off of here, we've only got to take them across the yard, and it took me quite a while. Um, I need to get another different bale fork, I think. Um, the one we've got is okay for handling square bales around the yard. I need something that grabs bales properly for moving them like this. Um, yeah, you know, something we need to think about in the future is another bale grab. Um, I would, I spoke, just spoke about a different front loader tractor. I'd love to get a telehandler still. Um, kind of accepted that the Merlot is of the right style. It's not completely the right age, but it sort of looks okay. Um, I know there are edits of the old JCB from 19 floating about, but they're all private converts, and I try and stay away even if someone gives me a legitimate version of something like that not sure if that works unless they've got permission from the modder um, I guess if it's private it sort of is but if they're distributing it then it's not private um, I try to stay away from mods like that because people watching can't use them um, you know if I edit stuff I do a video on how to edit it I uh, don't release mods that I edit not i don't believe in it um you know someone has gone to the trouble of creating it i'll show you how to do edits like the store deliveries video i'm not going to give you a copy of the version that i've edited that's wrong in my opinion um the only one i'm kind of bending on that and i'm only going to give one file is the better contracts one because it's meant to have a user defined option so i don't feel that sharing that user defined option is a bad thing you'll have to add it in yourself i'm not going to give you a whole copy of the mod but it's really wrong to do that kind of thing but i will give the file for you to add in but yeah i'm kind of funny on that um, i it, it's still there well it was still there last time i looked in the northern coast freaking stolen stolen from a bunch of people stolen from greenbile and it's stolen from oxy you know it's built on Calmston. Um, and yeah, it bugs me. It really bugs me. People put... You know, the, the bits that I have done, they're not lots of hours compared to someone who builds a map. Um, yeah. That still bugs me. I'm not going to go on a big rant on it. Give modders legitimate credit and don't release stuff you don't have permission for. Full stop. Um... So yeah, we are doing pretty good now. The windrow is onto the headlands and so are we. And because I mowed right out to the, you know, the boundary of the field, of course I can't get or didn't get this bit. So I'm just manually going around picking up that last bit of grass. Um, and then we're gonna lease the bale wrapper and get the Ursus going with our one spare worker on the bale wrapping while we finish off the four-ish headlands we have to bale. Uh, the times three is working pretty well actually I don't think I've intentionally done a let's play on times three it feels pretty good um, so that's the bale wrap we're getting the end turner so the bales end up flat side down so they're easier to stack um, I don't care if it's realistic or not to stack them that way it's how I'm stacking them um, but yeah the times three feels pretty good it's mid mid afternoon We've got this field mown, bailed, and we're working on getting it wrapped. You can see horseplay attempting in the background to uh, wrap the bale. We're on the last little run for getting the baling finished. We've done everything except this strip. 
Um, once this bale comes out, I'm going to drop the size down to the smallest size, which is 125 centimeters, to see if we can eke out a couple more smaller bales rather than one and a bit bigger bale. Um, so I've been doing 150 centimeter because that's the biggest the baler and the wrapper can cope with. Um, yeah, so basically trying to minimize the number of bales as much as possible. Purely from a bale handling point of view, if I was playing with auto loaders or we were far enough through that we had a bale loader, um, like one of the Andersons or something, then I would worry less. But I know I have to manually move all of these bales. Um, so yeah, trying to minimize the number that we get. We uh, we will get more in future because this, this grass field was only at the first harvest ready state, but we weren't going to get another growth state with the way this geo is set up on Maypole. Um, so I had to mow it, um, pretty much. Over, we might mulch it before spring. Um, might want to do that actually before the end of the month so that we don't affect the growth. Um, I forget to mulch the other two fields. You might remember this tutorial, the tutorial, the poll I did. Really bad for remembering mulching. So, baiting all done. Time to attempt to get all of these stacked. At this point in the edit process, the video is getting kind of long. Um, I did say before that I don't like time lapsing bale stacking, but we are. So uh, if it's a bit twitchy, sorry. Um, I did find that it was actually better to do, rather than doing a vertical stack of two first, to do horizontal stacks of two and then pile them on top of each other. Um, and yeah, you can see if we if we had a bale fork that grabbed, this would be much easier. Didn't see the point in double handling them and loading them on a trailer. Um, but yeah, this kind of thing wouldn't happen if we had a bale fork that grabbed the bales. Um, it all got a bit messy the first time. I uh, I slowed down a lot on the future ones, and I don't think it happened again on any of them. Uh, just a bit too keen on the first run to uh, get them stacked. I've got plenty of options around the yard for stacking bales up, and I think we're going to end up with quite a few collected up. You can see there are quite a lot of bales to load. And I think that's the last one to wrap. It is indeed a wrap. Um, so now it is just a case of getting them all stacked and in the yard. But I think this is uh, me doing the horizontal rather than vertical stacking. Definitely seems to work better. And what I'm going to do is uh, I think I do this set. And then I'm basically going to run around the field making these stacks of four. Um, while we've got decent light i'm worried that it's getting late in the game and i don't want to be chasing bales around the field so at least if they're in stacks of four they're easy to find it might not be an issue but i just yeah i just want to get them all all organized and then we can get them moved to the yard the other thing if we had a, a smaller bale loading tractor it would probably be a bit more maneuverable this feet is not the best. Um, something with four wheel steering would be really nice. Something like a telehandle up that had four wheel steering, but you know. Maybe when the fertilizing contracts kick in and we can earn some big money. Um, so there were a few about, but we missed some of them. They uh, they vanished and most a lot of them were with the the Massey Ferguson and I want to, didn't want to use more of that. Uh, I've tested that setup. So yeah. I am, I am tempted actually to knock it out of the options. It's, uh, yeah, it, it felt expensive to run. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, another stack of four going back. And then, uh, yeah, I think I get the rest of them piled in their fours, apart from the two smaller ones, which I put in two. And then we'll work on getting them over to the yard next to the shed. I'm nervous that when we add maize plus in, we have nowhere near enough feed, um, which is why I'm wondering whether, I, I think, I can't remember the exact details, but I think we might lose grass contracts at the end of this month. Um, 
it's pretty it's set up pretty harsh on here um i'm not sure i'll have to have a look at what i actually put in the geo that i sent to cavalier um did it a fair while ago so so we may not have the option of doing a lot more grass working contracts or at least until spring um what i'm pondering is the way we manage this is we silage all of our grass and we get hay from contracts um and then we do a, a feed mix because we can customize it in most plus we do a feed mix which is based around grass hay and grass silage um with you know i think i said it last time with like some minerals and some sugar beets and some molasses and things like that um that's what i'm thinking on here and uh, maybe we won't do any maize silage or at least not yet um, and the I think quite a lot of UK farmers don't use maize silage in their cow feed. So yeah, I think it's it's a way we can go. Um, actually, I know around where I am, last year we had one field of maize growing. This year there are probably half a dozen that I regularly go past, walking the dogs or driving around. Um, so the field last year that was maize, they've done back to back. Um, it actually looks a bit ropey this year we've just had some storms and it's taken a bit of a battering um, but yeah there's, there's a good half dozen fields of maize growing around there and we don't have a lot of cattle so they did silage it I'm pretty sure they silaged it um, I missed it being harvested but it looked like they silaged it um, so yeah whether they're, they're sending it out of the area I don't know um, yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm a lot more observant now of the farming that's going on around me. I, we actually we went to a, a countryside show a couple of weeks ago, and they had farming through the year. And that was really quite cool, seeing... Um, so they basically went through from harvesting with a combine. So they had a combine that drove around, um, a, tra a tra tractor and trailer that was simulating carting for it, and then they had... Uh, a baler they brought a bale of hay in and made some haylage so they wrapped it up for haylage um, they had a nice plow in you know rollers that kind of thing i think they didn't have was a drill they didn't have a drill but yeah, it's really cool seeing the kit up close in real life um there was a lot of blue there were a lot of new hollands because i live not a million miles away from the new holland factory um it's in Essex, so yeah, there were a lot of New Hollands. This from really ni a really nice T7 Blue Power. Um, it was a nice bit of kit. Um, and that is all of the bales collected. So, I'm going to say thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. They're doing pretty well, actually. But yeah, click the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you've got comments, suggestions, or questions, then... Uh, leave a comment below when you click the like button don't smash it it's been a long day got that um, and if you're new to the channel and you've made it this far subscribe you'll get a load more videos like this and i will catch you next time on maple farm